that match against the Aussies was absolutely brilliant. They must have had the fans back home uh, believing that they can actually win the World Cup this time around. Good afternoon, Mike. Well, it was uh, an exceptional game, I think, against the Aussies. And, uh, well, I think Jeremy proved the point that even with a young team, you can actually beat other sides and actually prove that you are ready for the World Cup. And the team did really, really well for that game. And I hope uh, they continue with that against Serbia tonight. Yeah, it would be so crucial though. But I mean, as far as the papers are concerned, as far as what the networks are saying, are they at all a little concerned that uh, you know, they still have this match to prove it or are they just going with the flow and uh, really hyping it up? Well, I think um, Joachim Löw said it properly. He said, you know, we shouldn't get carried away by this first match win. But, uh, you know, we proved the point that this young team can perform. They did perform. And uh, we now need to take it from by match to match and then see how far we can get. And I think, you know, if they can maintain this form, I think Germany is a big candidate to be world champion. We will certainly see the team. So, uh, just a quick, let's touch upon this for a second and now because you told me something interesting last time we talked as well. As far as how the reactions to England is going, I promise Beckenbauer, he's been uh, quite critical of uh, Fabio Capello and his uh, team. What do you have to say on that? Um, I would agree with Vince uh, on that point um, in regard to the first match. I think, you know, with that kind of talent available, you should play out a different kind of football. And of course, the old problem which he also of course, mentioned again since, you know, the days of Gordon Banks and Chilton, is that England has not been able to find another good goalkeeper. And uh, those factors coming together are a problem, but uh, he's not, not said it as such in regard to England as a whole tournament. He, he talked about the first match. And uh, I think as well, Capello made a few mistakes, and that's why uh, England can be the USA. All right, let's just cap off with the last one over there. And now with this incredibly young team, is anyone at all missing Michael Ballack? Do you get that feeling at home? At the moment, no. But uh, I think as the tournament will go on, I think his experience would be very useful for the team. And uh, especially in the match against Serbia tonight, uh, which can be a, a tricky fight. Uh, Serbia can play very, very well. But uh, I think history is on Germany's side. I think uh, whenever Germany has beaten the old Yugoslavia, they've actually become world champions. Beat 54, beat 74, beat 90. You know, hopefully, history will repeat itself in uh, 2006. All right, thanks so much for all that insider and other. I'm really looking forward to talking to you throughout the tournament. Thank you. Yes.